would have so welcome to you guys tiny little speaker card for this speaker card we are going to take a look at the advice you are meant to hear right now before we do that let me introduce myself my name is Noraima from the Phoenix Star if you are new to the channel hi welcome and thank for you found me if you like the vibration don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video and if you are already part of the fam the growing tribe hey love thanks for that you're back again fam so yeah we are going to take a look at the advice you are meant to hear right now i have already done you guys reading and i found it great you i found it beautiful so you have three decks that you can choose from three piles for the first pile you have the desert rose crystal as your crystal and then for the second pile, you have the pyrite crystal as your pile. So, yeah. And then for the third pile, oh, that's my headphones. I don't know why it's on, but yeah. For the third pile, you have the um, fluoride, brown fluoride crystal as your pile. Pal. I will give you guys 30 seconds to breathe in, breathe out, choose your pal. You will hear three high pitched notes just to oomph you up, and I will see you at the pal or pals that you have chosen. Timestamps are down below. So, by one, you have chosen the Desert Rose as your crystal. I don't know yet which card. We will take a look what card you have chosen. Let me put your crystal here. Let's see. I ask my guides, your guides, all that has the best interest for us, hunt and on, to let us know the advice you are meant to hear right now. So, they are quick at it. Let's see. You have the ladybug. This is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. Honey, you are going to be blessed. This is your card. This is the message that you need to uh, know at this moment. Let's take a look what else can they give that we need to know about this advice, this message that they are giving you i'm getting like did i'm getting like i have to ask you guys that did you know and i don't know why but i'm it has to do i think with you guys personally but because i hear like a question to me because i know it i know it that that that's the amount but I'm getting like I have to say it, but it's for you guys, but it has nothing to do. But it's, I don't know, that you have maybe a very curious um, um, spirit guide, you know, or ancestor. It's like, did you know? <laughs> because I really hear like, did you know that a ladybug has the same amount of steps on their back? everyone has the same amount of steps on their back and it was really like did you know <laughs> so i don't know if you guys know but did you know is what the question is that every um ladybug has the same amount of steps on their back okay i don't know why you have to know that but i do think that later down the line it will have a reason in your message it's every time they do with me like that okay so just go with me okay wonders honey you are going to get the wonders of the earth the surprises Ah, maybe you are getting that, like the did you know, is more as in you will not have less than another person, okay? Everybody will have the same amount of steps. It depends on the view of yourself because a ladybug can look at another ladybug and say, oh, you have thousand steps, 
But the other ladybug don't know about themselves that they have thousand steps. Now they don't have thousand steps. It's it's the same pattern though. I don't know how many anymore. You know, but maybe you need to count. Google Google a ladybug and count the steps that they have. Maybe that's your lucky number or that number says something, an angel number, honey. Go on the on the path of discovering a ladybug. There is something with a ladybug with you guys. You also have uh, forgiveness. Maybe you this this question has, is rings a bell to you where you know who that spirit guide is because you might have a connection with your spirit guide that they will ask you a question and you will have to google it or figure it out kind of a way because i really found it very funny how they came through like did you know <laughs> so i really found it very cute very cute so it is a it is a very kind feminine energy so let's see uh the advice you are meant to hear right now so for some of you you have occupation family room Okay, and one more, please. Thank you. And you also have thief. Now, here's the thing. Your guide, your spiritual team is saying, like, really forgive the people, okay, that, that really has taken your time. Okay, this is a moment that you really need to focus on yourself, your family, and stuff. Really go for what the thing that you really like and love. It's a great time right now because you will uh, discover things that you did not know that are a miracle to this um, to this world things are opening and i do think that for you guys your ancestors will play a role and your spiritual team will play a role in showing you the earthly wonders um for some of you maybe you will go do something with jewelry and and um how do you call it um crystals and stuff um, do not look at other people and be like, oh, but they have this and they have that. Your ancestor, your guide is saying like, you have the same amount. Okay. Do not look like, oh, but I'm just now starting. No, 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 no. You have the same amount. It is the matter of time and discovering that you also have the same amount. Every one of us have the capability to enter a room of our wishes and desires okay it's not like oh that person gets this big of a bucket of blessings and this person gets this little shot cup of a blessing no everybody has the same amount but it has to do with who wants to get it because it's the way you view at it you cannot look at your own back another person looks at your backs and counts your steps why do I get that? I'm getting a Korean drama that I... Was it... No, it was Alice in, in Wonderland. Yes. Yes. I believe... Not Alice in Wonderland. It's a Japanese series. And... Yeah, they had to... They had to tell the other person what are their cards. And, and you know, it's, it's a kind of a, a horror kind of a situation. Not horror, because I do not look at a thriller. It's a thriller kind of a situation. But suddenly I get that image. So, ah, no, now why? Because other people can lie to you of the amount of blessings you have or what you, who you are. For example, you might be like a, um, a, a hard worker or you don't have um, a, a diploma or, you know, you are not, you don't have, you didn't go to college and stuff. And another person can say, oh, because you didn't go there, your value is only this amount. Because you, you don't work at a higher company, your value is this amount. That is the thing that they can tell you because you cannot count your own blessings on your back. So you will let another person, wow, I love you guys reading. <laughs> uh, you can, will let another person tell you the amount of blessing you are deserving of. The answer is not that. Everybody has the same amount. But if you let other people tell you 
who you are and what you are and you believe it, you are actually hanging yourself. No, oh, 11, 11 when I said it. Not hanging yourself, but but really um, not hanging yourself, but you are you are going to how they see you, you know, while your guys, your spiritual team is saying everybody has the same amount. It doesn't matter what you do or what you have done. But if you believe in other people's words, that is the amount you think you can, you can have. Well, you can be a millionaire if, uh, if just like the other millionaires. You can be an entrepreneur just like the other entrepreneurs. You can be a, a YouTuber just like the other YouTuber. So really, whatever you are looking at or perceiving at or thinking or hearing, like this is your amount, it's not true. Everybody has the same amount. Okay, my love? Whew, now I get the. You see how they do? You see how they do? I have to puzzle everything. <laughs> so let's go. Let's see. Oh, ooh, the lovers underneath the deck. Um, you have the Hierophant going to the lovers. And you have the lovers underneath the deck. So there is a commitment. Something that you need to commit yourself to. Uh, something that you need to be dedicated to. For you to have this. Okay. And I do think it has to do with you guys' occupation. And your uh house your family you know but you need to watch out that people will not steal your time or make you skip because you think oh no i cannot do that because i don't have this i cannot do it because i don't have that you know do not believe in the words because people are deceiving you people are actually trying to um lure you in to look at this while they are stealing your time okay my love watch out for that together with the moon in reverse this uh, will be revealed to you okay the moment it will be revealed to you you will see the good fortune and abundance coming in okay it's a great time so all the mysteries being revealed to you together with the knight of coins in reverse honey once it be revealed try to understand that you are your own person that is holding you back okay if you really want something you need to go get it okay and really let go of all the no because of this no because of that no because of this person because forgive them and let go they were stealing your time they were telling you something that isn't like that remember this do you know <laughs> that every ladybug has the same amount of steps on their back that is really your message, okay, my love? That's the advice. The, yes, this is also the great advice that you need to know. Like, this is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life, okay? That is really your message also. But your, your personal message that every time you might think less of yourself, remember, remember who you are Simba your guys your spiritual team your ancestor is saying did you know <laughs> that a ladybug has every ladybug have the same amount of uh, dots on their back you will see ladybugs and that will ring a bell so every time you doubt know that a person can tell you, no, you have just one dot, dot on your back. No, you have, this is still the amount that you have. BS. You have just the same amount as everybody else. So do not think less of yourself. Don't forget to hit a comment and like and share. That will help me out tremendously when it comes to my YouTube journey. And I'll see you in another reading of mine. Bye-bye. So, my lovely beautiful part two, you guys have chosen the pyrite, the fool's gold, as your crystal. Let's take a look, let's see the advice you are meant to hear right now. I ask my guides, your guides, all that has the best interest for us, harm to none, to, honey, to let us know the advice that you are meant to hear right now. Let's see. What is the advice that Pao Tzu is meant to hear right now? 
Oh, you have two. Two advices. So for the first advice, you have the elk. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. This is the elk. Oh, you have three. I thought, okay, you special. <laughs> so this is the elk. And then you also have the meerkat. Uh, get support from a trusted group or of like-minded friends. And your last advice is the tortoise. You are too fragment, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. Okay, so my lovely, beautiful pal two, what I'm getting for you guys is um, the advice that you guys, your spiritual team is giving is really like, um, if you put these two together, you will find the right people, okay? You will find the right people that believe in you. So don't try to convince other people to see things like, but I am this, I can do this. I, mm -mm -mm, don't waste your breath, okay? So only thing you, you have to do against them is stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. So, um, and do not let other treat you in a way that you are not deserving of. So so don't, don't, don't bow down neither. Okay. Don't act less neither and get rid of those people. Actually go find yourself people that are like-minded as that you are, you know, that sees things the way you see them. And if you guys are kind of like too much with your head in the clouds, uh, the tortoise is saying like really ground yourself. So Honey, you are going to move forward, but you need to show up for yourself. With the leadership, you really need to show up for yourself, okay? You, the universe, you guys, your spiritual team, is going to um, lead you, guide you on this path, okay? Is what I'm getting. They are going to guide you. This is a perfect timing. I'm getting like, look at the northern light, look at the northern light kind of a situation. Looking at the leadership, follow the stars kind of a way. Um, in the, even in your darkest time, you have, you can look at the stars. You, there are, you are being guided. Okay. So like, if you see those two, it's day and night forward going forward you can see it's daylight and there is a path you can see clearly oh here is where i'm going this is the way i need to go but with the leadership it's dark and you don't see a path it's just you need to follow your intuition and continue moving forward but you guys your spiritual team is saying day or night it doesn't matter you are being guided in both ways Every, both of them has the stars is still shining. So if the sun is blocking the stars at night, you can see the stars. Okay. And at daylight, you can see the sun. So follow it. Okay. Now let's see what advice are you meant to hear right now? Oh, that's, I don't know why, but the amount constantly. <laughs> I think I got it, but I didn't. So you have the toy labor together with imprisonment. And you also have gift. Okay, you guys, you can stay where you are, but you know, you know, that ain't it, right? I'm really getting for some of you, you are doing something like everybody else is doing. Uh, you might feel like caged um everybody is doing it this is what i can do at this moment to get it but your guys your spiritual team is really it this is i'm feeling um like i'm feel, feeling really like i don't have nowhere to move i don't have an option I'm, I'm feeling that kind of energy like i don't have an option um i'm feeling like really caved in like it's on an automatic, everything goes the same way. The, those two, it's not a good energy. These two all together is not a good energy. It's giving me the energy of everybody do it. It's like, um, you know, when you do fabric work 
and imprisoned, imprisonment is the same thing. It's the same. You wake up, you go to work, you eat, you sleep, you wake up, you go to work, you eat, you sleep, you know? So it's kind of like the same thing and everybody is doing it. So you have to do it also. Honey, there is something better coming towards you, okay? There is something better than this coming. So you guys, your spiritual team is saying like, really, do not give up. And if you feel like this is getting too much, really ground yourself because I really feel I'm a person that I like freedom, you know? And this, this, this is, this is making me feel like I'm being caged in kind of an energy. It's giving me that, um, the energy of stagnant kind of a way. Um, if you, if, if ground yourself, ground yourself, walk in nature, walk in nature and do not be consumed by this energy because it isn't, it isn't good for you. Stand tall, even if you are different than other people, do not forget your dreams, your desire, your wishes, your hobby. Okay. Because yes, we need to put bread on the table. So maybe you guys be like this constant thing, you know, I, I, I understand it, but you guys, your spiritual team is saying, look at the stars, look at a brighter thing because every, both of them, the sun and the stars are bright. Look at something that makes your day, your life brighter. Instead of looking at this dep depressed kind of energy, then you will find the gifts. Okay. Then you will find the gifts. So let's see. What is that you need to know more underneath the deck? You have the Ace of Cups. So you have the Page of Coins. This is um, adventurous. Look at this also, the working. Like this is some adventure, something new, something fresh that you can move forward with if you want to. But you have also the Seven of Swords. That is definitely a cheating conniving thief card. This is my chinic and active card. There is definitely or somebody stealing from you or you are going to choose for yourself. If you want to move from this, because this is somebody stealing your time, your energy, like constantly make use of your energy. But if you be like, you know what, I'm going to choose for myself. You need to come to realize like, okay, this is not where I need to go. You know, I will work hard for my own coins, my own things, kind of a way. Whatever you want to achieve in life. You also have the seven of wands. When you do that, though, you need to stand up against people, you know, because it's kind of like you are, um, you are the only one that, that is, everybody is doing it. Why, why, why are you complaining? You know? It's not the norm what you want to do. Your gifts, your talent. And you guys, your spiritual team saying, don't worry about that. You also have the meerkat. And the meerkat, you will have like-minded people, surroundings, community that can help you out. Okay? So really do not feel like an ostrich. Like everybody is doing this and here I am. You know, like the, the lone wolf or the black sheep. Like everywhere there is one or two black sheep, okay? In every family there is one. So if in every family there is one and you count lots of family here on earth, that means you are not the only black sheep, okay? So look out for the people that sees and think the same way as you. But once again, you have to kind of like stand up tall and let them know. Okay, I'm going to read this one again. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect you deserve. So here, looking at the seven of wands and the seven of swords, my chinic and half card, is where you need to be like, you know what? I will not take this. I will not take this kind of a treatment. I do not deserve it. Okay, and go get you the people that do give you that respect. And then you also have the eight of wands. It's going to happen fast. The moment you choose for yourself, things will happen fast for you. You know, you will get your gifts. 
you know so really ground yourself my love the advice that you are meant to get is ground yourself take the leadership in your life do not be consumed by, by these kind of a people go for what you like and love go for the community that sees things just the same as you if things are getting hectic please ground yourself walk in nature but do not give up on your wishes and your dream because hey everybody is doing this so i have to also do that and once you have to stand up stand up against people that are coming against you because you are acting out of the norm stand tall okay stand tall and maintain your dignity i do hope i could have helped you guys my lovely beautiful part too don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe that will help me out tremendously when it comes to youtube and i will see you in another video of mine bye bye so my lovely beautiful part three you guys have chosen the brown fluoride as your crystal let's take a look let's see the advice you are meant to hear right now what is the advice i ask my guides your guides all it has the best interest for us harm to none to let us know the advice you are meant to hear right now my lovely beautiful pal three let's see okay you also get three so you have the spider trust the create Trust the creative spark you are feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay, so definitely you guys need to go ahead and do the thing that you feel you can do. Okay, together with the polar bear, stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. Honey, be yourself do you become you it's time kiwi do a walking meditation each day for the next week okay do a walking meditation each day for the next week so my lovely beautiful pile three you guys advice is actually beautiful just like the other ones but it's really a reminder of uh be who you are do not be consumed what other people say and think don't let your gifts your talent goes to waste okay um stand up for yourself speak up um and you know the thing i'm getting is like really you don't have to stay stuck and stagnant on the idea of who you used to be okay my love so the person that you are now or that that feeling that you feel within you like can i do that can i become it is that really my reality can i perceive that yes or do you want to remain where you are at because the thing is like people think you know because i'm getting like you know we go to school we get our diploma and back in the day she will be like okay i'm gonna go apply for a job and that is the job that i will have a contract with till my pension back in the day that was the ideal picture that everybody was going for like oh i have to have a contract and that is the job that i will work at for 25 30 40 years something till i get my pension kind of a situation like honey do you know how many life you have shared by continue holding on to an image that you are not anymore do you know how many people's dream, vision, ideas had died because they hold on to a kind of an image that doesn't fit them anymore? So really do not be afraid to say, today I woke up and I'm Beyonce. You know, don't say that out loud because I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you can say it out loud, but watch out that they don't put you in a place. <laughs> No, I'm just joking with you guys. You know, because it's a it's a you need to act 
delusional before it comes, you know. But if you wake up and you feel like Beyonce, guess what, honey? Beyonce, you are, you know. So it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel, just know that you may change the person that you are. Do not hold on to, no, but I'm paltry. I'm a mother, I'm a father, I'm a caregiver, I am this, I am that. But meanwhile, within you, something screams, I am an entrepreneur, I am a gifted, talented um, um, painter, I can play beautiful piano, you know, even though you be like... <laughs> Nails, hands cannot do this. You be like, I'm Alicia Keys, honey. I'm Alicia Keys. The key stands for the keys, okay? Honey, if you think and feel that is the thing that you want to do, go ahead and do it, okay? Go ahead and do it. Like, you guys, your spiritual team will give you message and advice on what to do next. And I do think if you, if you walk in nature... They will give you hunches on what 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 step to take next, okay, my love? You have wisdom, so dive deep in the knowledge and wisdom that you have, the thing that is really calling you to do, together with miracles, so believe in the miracles, and not only that, keep it simple, keep it simple, okay? Do, do, life is so simple, it is the humans. The humans, I don't know, do you get them? Because I don't get them. Humans have made life so difficult. Where life is not difficult at all. Look at the animals, how easy they have it. And we be like, oh, animals are stupid. Animals are this. Animals are the most beautiful creatures in the world that are living their lives so freely, day by day. How we actually also have to live life. But no, no, we don't. You know why? Because, hey, we have mortgage to pay. And you know why? Because, hey, we have bills to pay. You know why? Because, hey, the people th that we live with says we need to do this and this and that. You know why? Because the government... Let me shut up. <laughs> You continue. Continue writing in the comments. Do you know why? Let me know. Give me some other more why you think we cannot live life simply as human beings. Why do you think that? Let us know down below. That will let me know that you chose part two also. So let's take a look. Let's see the advice you are meant to hear right now. Oh, sudden wealth. That's a good advice. That's a good thing. <laughs> so you have sudden wealth. Beautiful. Together with jo journey. You know why? <laughs> and pathway. Honey, go do what you need to do. There is where your abundance, your fruitfulness is. Go that, with that hunch feeling. Go on that journey. There is your abundance. There is your fruitfulness. You have pathway and journey together with the kiwi. Do a walk in uh, walk in meditation. Stand for yourself. Speak your truth respectfully, no matter the outcome. And the wisdom card talking about diving deep. All of that is so beautiful. So beautiful. I don't know, but this is a message of, of really live life the way you want it. I'm not saying that you need to leave that baby alone and be like, you, you, <laughs> mommy, daddy said, <laughs> I need to, no, Raima said, do not do that. Okay, no, Raima said, look out for your children, search for a babysitter, and then go ahead and do something. Okay, but do something that you like and love. So your tarot card says that... This is the death card. So there is some new beginning coming. If you look at the card, honey, rise like a phoenix. Okay, rise like a phoenix. Grow 
This life is for us to grow. That is why you constantly hear me say in the intro, the growing tribe. Do not stay stagnant. We need to, you know how Phoenix is, okay? Phoenix is a, is a, is a bird or you can see it as a peacock, whatever have you, a dragon, whatever have you. You know, it's a bird <laughs> that, that, that really has lots of lives to live. It constantly changes. Okay, it constantly changes. It isn't stagnant. It is like, oh, I have learned this chapter. It rises above, it grows, and it dies again. And then it starts all over again. So really stagnation, the image of this is who I am for 50 years doesn't work, honey. Doesn't work. Marriage, you can marry a person in your 20-something But in your 50-something, you have a whole different person than the one you have married in your 20. Everybody goes through life changes. Everybody is a phoenix that needs to grow, that needs to rise, okay? That needs to shed something, a hurt, a pain, to grow, to rise again. So... You also have the queen of cups, honey, fruitful in abundance. Listen to your intuition, okay? Together with the three of wands, people are coming your way, okay? People are coming your way and the ace of wands, go with your passion. Go with your passion, the thing that you desire because, honey, it will be abundant. It will be fruitful. It will be surprisingly beautiful and it will happen effortlessly and you will be bumping your head be like it is this simple yes you know why because we humans <laughs> it is simple when you go with the the synchronicity you know the thing that's really within you universe always give the answers yeah but we human <laughs> wants it to be so difficult it cannot be that easy well if you look around you all the things you see on this earth went that easy somebody thought of house and made houses you know somebody thought of oh a wheel and they have made a wheel we are we, honey let's 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 stop here <laughs> Okay, because really, I'm getting really like, do not make it so difficult. Do not. Just go with it. Okay, that's your advice, my lovely, beautiful. And see the miracles in life. Walk your path. Okay, and grow to the to, to your situation. Dive deep. Show you share your knowledge, your wisdom. Okay, and and if today you are this, and ten years later you are that, guess what? That was a beautiful experience. Now let's rise again to another thing. Don't be afraid to change chapters. That's your message. That's your advice. And I will see you in another reading of mine. Bye-bye.